Oh yeah. Crappy time guys. Crappy. Gating size, probably about eight inches. Faint mark, but there he goes, it's coming. Oh, just missed it, just missed it. There's two marks now, two marks. Got him. Got him, guys. I think this is another crappie. Oh, sunny. Good size right here, too. I'm going to keep this one for a fish fry as well. Right here, you guys, just using hit lures. This is the glow red. Still more fish down there, so let's uh, get our bait down there real quick. <clears throat> so you see today, we're just hole hopping today. It's a really small lake. It's only about 400 acres or something like that. So it's not a huge lake, but it's got a lot of good fish potential in here. It's a lot of northerns, bass, a lot of bluegills. Decent sized crappies here too. And not a lot of people that come out here, so which is a real nice thing. I'll show you a quick pan of the lake. And look at it. It's my cousin, my buddy. Two more to the right, and then one more guy all the way to the left over here. And that is it for this whole lake. Everyone's out at uh, Manitonka, all the big name lakes, and here we are in this real small lake. And basically, we just popped about probably 40 50 holes, and then we just hopped from hole to hole. We got the life scope all the way over there which we're just using it as kind of like a base station and then we just scan around and until we find them right around the, the holes that we popped then I'll take my hummingbird ice 35 go over there and I see if there's any fish if there's any fish down there then it just drop the bait down and basically wait give it a jig for about five ten minutes nothing then I head over back to the, the central station where the life scope is and scan again and see if there's any holes that we popped that's close. The way these fishings are is they're very finicky as soon as you pop a hole they're gonna move so so you don't want to chase them too much otherwise you're gonna chase them all day and you'll be lucky if you get one or two. So basically the, the best technique is once you find an area where there's a lot of fish pop a central hole area that's where your life scope is and pop a whole bunch of holes in a radius from 30 50 80 and then even 100 feet from uh, the central location there he goes got him let's see what this one is it's funny like a bluegill oh crappie there he goes These are not super huge, but they're nice and fat. Look how thick they are. Good eating size right there. I like keeping them about that size, and I like releasing the ones that are 13, 14 inches. Those are the, I like to keep those as breeders. They produce the most eggs, and they have the better genes because they're grown so big. That means that they are survivors. Oh yeah, I'm getting a lot of marks down here now. Just looking at it. Just raise it up a little bit, give it a wiggle, just pause. There, oh, just, just nipped at it.
Oh, it went straight back down. Spooked it. And I'm bleeding. Oh, no wonder I guess sliced my hands right there. How did that happen? There we go, it's got him. Oh, this one feels, feels heavy. Oh, nice crappie. There it is, not bad. Good eating size right here. Good eater. Nice, you got one too? Sweet. Oh, just missed another one. Just missed another Oh, look at that. Christmas tree now. It is a Christmas tree now, guys. There it comes. Oh, yeah? There it goes. Got him. Got him. Christmas tree over here now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bluegill. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh! Another mist. What's so cool about the scepter rod is you can feel the bite, even with a spring bobber. You can feel them bite. There he goes. Got him. Oh, crappie. Oh. Got him. <laughs> uh, this one came and hammered it. Oh, big, big crappie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one's pushing probably 11. Yeah, but we'll measure. That one flew up and hit it, guys. That was amazing. Let's try to get my bait down there real quick. And just like that, they're gone. <laughs> Probably another 10. Oh, it's on the spoon, huh? Yeah, spoon, huh? Nine. Yeah, nine. It's not bad. Good, feels kind of heavy. good eaters. <laughs> all those crappies in there right now. Yeah, all those are crappies. 30 feet of water. Wow. <laughs> oh, it came right out of, right of its mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, let me, uh, let me measure it first. Measure it, yeah. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, let, let me measure it. <laughs> Look at this one over here. I just released the 11 inch. Oh yeah, this. Like it, no more Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. the second one I got. I released it. Yeah, right around 11 inches too. 11 inches too. Yeah, the one I released uh, was uh, 11 inches too, and it had all these red sores too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Too bad, huh? Yeah. Too bad. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Awesome, good catch. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, it's a big one. Yeah, I had it for a second. Shooting out there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, this one feels kind of okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there he goes. Not bad. It's gonna eat her. Nice. Got it on that coffin spoon too. Yep. The Wonder Bread. Very nice. Still more down there. I want to get that big mark. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's a big mark right there. You guys can't wish for a better day than this. I mean, beautiful day, mid 30s. I'm only out here with a sweatshirt or my hoodie and uh, my striker bibs, and that's basically it. And I've been out here since I think right around 1 o'clock. It's gonna be sunsetting pretty soon here, and yeah. Oh, Christmas tree right here, guys. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Got him. Yep. <laughs> We'll keep this one. We're almost to our limit. I'm gonna have a good fish fry tonight. If you guys haven't done so, make sure you guys go check out Hit Lures right here. This is his uh, Diamond Tails. That's the red. It's killer for crappies. Make sure you guys go check it out. I'm gonna link them down below. Also, make sure you guys go check out Get Two Tackles as well. And I'm also going to link them down below. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? There he goes. Another good eating size crappie right here, guys. It's a big mark that keeps on coming over by Bumblebee fishing, and uh, I think it's thinking it's pretty a northern. So he was asking if I have any sucker minnows left, and uh, actually, I do. But we'll be fish all the slamming them. Venuje, 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 venuje. Keeping we all cut our limits. <laughs>